What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. Moving on to another word problem dealing with linear systems. So we're told that you work at a store where you sell $80 shoes and $50 pants. In one shift, you sell 15 items in total, and then the total amount that those items sell for is $1,000 and, or $1,020. And we have to figure out how many of each item do you sell, the quantity over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce two variables. So I'm gonna let X equal the number of shoes that you sold in your shift and then Y equaling the number of pants that you sell. So notice that we're told that the total number of items is going to be 15. Okay, so if X is the number of shoes, Y is the number of pants, then that means that X plus Y is going to be 15. So notice that this equation here, it deals with the quantity, right? But we're also given information about the revenue, which is $1,020. And so just in general, let's say that you sold um, two shoes. The revenue generated would be two times $80 per shoe. And let's say you sold three pants, right? Three times 50. So this would be $160. And then this would be $150, which would give us a total revenue of 310. And so to create using this intuition to create a revenue equation. What's the revenue generated if we sell an X number of shoes? Well, it's gonna be 80 X. Plus, what's the revenue generated with the Y number of pants that you sell? Well, it's going to be 50 per pant, right? Times the number of pants. And then this here, this revenue, is equal to $1,020. Okay, so that's how you set up these equations. So this equation deals with the quantity, the number of pants and shoes. This equation here deals with the revenue. So whenever you're setting these up, just keep in mind the differences over here. If you're dealing with quantity, then the left side is quantity, the right side is quantity. Here, the left side is revenue the right side is revenue. Okay, so um, from here we just have to solve. So let's do this by elimination. What I'm going to do is we can get rid of the X's or the Y's. Uh, let's get rid of the X's. So I'm gonna take this equation, I'm gonna multiply it by 80. Okay, so we'll have 80 X, 80 times Y is 80 Y and then 80 times 15 would give us what? 1,200, like that. And then what we do is because these signs are the same, we wanna subtract this from that, right? If they were, um, if the signs were different, so if this was positive, this was negative, then we would just add them to get rid of the X's. But because the signs are the same, we gotta subtract this from that. If we subtract this from that, we gotta subtract this from that, this from that. So we're actually subtracting all of this. We're subtracting all of this from all of that. Okay, so 80X minus 80X would just give us zero X. So those cancel out. Then we have 50Y, let's do this on the side. So 50Y minus 80Y, right? 50 minus positive 80, which would give us negative 30Y over here, then we have 1,020 minus 1,200, which would give us a negative 180, okay? Another way you could do is you could take this minus that, right, and then this minus that, this minus that, so then both of these would be positive, but usually what you're doing is you're taking the top and subtracting the bottom. Okay, so 50y minus 80y, negative 30y, 1,020 minus 1,200 is negative 180. So here, divide by negative 30y would end up equaling uh, 6. So right there, 
that's the number of pants that you sell. And then to solve for the number of shoes, to solve for the x value, you could take this, you could either plug it in here or in here, you'll get the same x value. I feel like it's easier to work with this one. So let's rewrite that. If we plug in six for y, bring this over, x is equal to nine. So you sell nine shoes, and then you sell six pants. Okay, and those are the answers. And then you could check your answers. So you could say, you could see if, does nine plus six equal 15? Yes, it does. And then what's the revenue gonna be generated? Well, the revenue for the pants, the pants are what, $50 each? So we'd multiply this by 50, which would give us $300 which by the way, they can ask for this amount here. They can ask you what are the revenue amounts generated from each item. So if they ask you what's the revenue generated from the number of pants sold, well, you would follow the same steps and then you would just do this extra step here where you would take the number of pants, multiply it by the price per pant to get the total revenue. So we got 300 there generated from selling pants and then from shoes, uh, it's $80 per shoe, so nine times 80. The total revenue here would be 720. Right, and then notice 720 plus 300 does indeed give us 1,020, that total revenue generated. All right, so you could also check your answers and be careful, they may ask for these figures instead, but in this particular question, they ask for the number of shoes, the number of pants, which is nine and six respectively.